Man, look. Everybody that say they from God ain't from God. You tell me what kind of man a God would body slam a one-year-old child. What kind of man a God would put a one-year-old child in a zinc full of ice cold water. Spray they face with Lysol kitchen cleaner. Not to mention fondling a 11 year old boy under the covers. Hi, this is Eric J coming at you with Street News. No, we ain't professional and neither is 41-year-old Robert Nichols, who was arrested after raping an 11-year-old boy and abusing a 1-year-old boy after the child refused to walk. So look, according to the reports, the boy mother had told Nichols about difficulties raising her son and asked Nichols to take him into his home as a boot camp so he could be straightened out. The boy said Nichols hit him with his hands, a belt, and a hanger, and would force him to sleep in his bed every night with him. While sleeping, Nichols would fondle his buttocks and privates. Nichols is a leader at the Word of Faith Ministries that cares for children. One witness described the ministry as cult-like. Nichols controlled his followers' finances, work life, and relationships, even dictating what they ate. The same witness said he watched Nichols repeatedly throw a one-year-old child on the floor. Each time the victim hit his head, it made a thump on the floor. Nichols was upset because the child would not pull himself up to a standing position. Nichols said, his legs are covered in bruises. Guess I'll move to his arms. To motivate the baby to stand, Nichols placed the boy in a kitchen sink filled with water and ice and said, if it is his own life on the line, he will obey and stand. But he refuses to do it when I ask. He's being rebellious. Nichols will also spray the baby's face with kitchen cleaner until the child could not breathe. Listen, the parents who dropped their kids off to Nichols already knew that their children were going to be abused. Maybe they didn't know that their private parts would be fondled, and maybe they didn't know that they would have to sleep in the bed with him. But they did know that their kids would be abused. Just like the 11 year old child mother said, he needed to be straightened out. And guess what? Nichols did just that. He straightened your child out underneath his covers in his bed. And as far as the one-year-old, who leaves a one-year-old around a person like this? And listen, I applaud the witness for stepping up, but I question, how can you sit back and just do nothing? You sitting there watching this grown man body slam a one-year-old child on the floor, watching him hit his head. Then you sit back and watched him Put him in a sink of cold water. You watched him spray the one-year-old face with Lysol kitchen cleaner. And all you do is sit back and take mental notes. Nah, bruh. They need to lock you up too. You gotta go. And listen, before I go, let me say this. Stop trusting everybody with y'all kids. You trust him just because he say he a pastor. You trust him just because he say he a preacher. Just because he got a church or he work at Word of Ministries, you trust him. Listen, it's okay to listen to your pastor, but you got common sense. Use it. Your pastor don't control your relationship. Your pastor don't tell you what you can eat. Your pastor don't control your money. Listen, y'all, a lot of y'all are convinced that y'all are doing the will of God but in reality, y'all doing the will of man.